So this is just a quick video to talk about the delete keyword. The delete keyword can be used to remove properties from objects. It's not intended to delete variables or delete objects themselves, but if you want to remove entirely a property from an object, this is how you do it. So we have my shortcut that I use in quite a few videos here, log equals console.log, just so I can quickly write things out. I have an object where I've defined three properties, called them prop one, two, and three. One's a number, one's a string, one's a function. And then I'm writing out one, two, and three, as well as property four that does not currently exist. So if we run this code, we can see 42, meaning of life, the function, and undefined. So when you try to access a property that does not exist, undefined is the value that you get. Now if I want to change one of the values, we can set something to null. And then write it out again, run this, and you can see null is set as the value for property one. Now this is what you would do if you were trying to intentionally set the value of a property to say that, hey, there's nothing inside of here. It's not that it's undefined, it hasn't been set yet, or it doesn't exist. Null means I'm intentionally saying that I want nothing inside that variable. It's a variable, it's a property, it exists, but there's nothing stored inside of it right now. That's what null represents. If you want, you can set a property to undefined, and this is similar to deleting the property. So if something's set to undefined, it means that there's no value that's been set for this. It's not that there's nothing inside of it, it's no value has been set. And we achieve the same sort of thing with the delete keyword by saying object, let's say prop3, what we're doing is we are removing this property from the object itself. So when we loop through, undefined. Now here and here, properties 1 and 2, they still exist and these are the values that they're stored. Here, if I were to loop through all of the properties that are defined within the object, this no longer will appear. So we can, let's do a for in loop. So for p, or we should declare that properly, p in obj log p. So we'll see all the properties that exist inside of here. There we are. Prop 1, prop 2, but nothing else. So property 1 and property 2 still exist. Null, meaning there's nothing inside of it. Undefined, no value has been set. But the properties themselves exist. By deleting prop 3, when I loop through all those properties, it no longer shows up as one that is currently available within that object. And that's the difference with setting it to undefined and deleting it. Both of them, when you log them out, you're going to get undefined as the value, but delete actually removes it as a property from the object. It's like it doesn't exist anymore. And that's the delete keyword. Thanks for watching, as always, and if you have any questions, please leave them in the comments.